with that wonderful melody playing once again. Hello everybody! What is going on dude? Today is Gabe Shimaka here and welcome back to our one and final little bonus video for Pokemon, the trading card game. Last time, we went ahead and proved ourselves worthy of the legendary cards and now, with them in our arsenal, we can kind of just glance around the entire world and see just what is available to us. Before this intro plays through once again, let's continue from our diary. Let's see, we're right here back in Mason's laboratory. And we can check our mail. Let's see, we have three new ones Isaac, it's me, Dr. Mason. Grandmaster Steve uses the legendary Zap to get little information and tidbits about each of the various um, um, legendary. Or each of the grandmasters. Kind of a little late for this, but little tidbits and little fun factoids from Dr. Mason in the uh, event that we had lost fighting. He uses the legendary Zapdos. The legendary Zapdos is a peal of thunder, and big thunder randomly chooses a target, so you never know which Pokemon will receive the damage. Be sure to look after not only your active, but also the Pokemon on your bench. This deck should be made up mostly of lightning Pokemon, so do it with using your fighting Pokemon. Defeat the Grandmasters, Isaac. It's a laboratory. P.S. Three more to go. You can receive the Evolution Booster Pack. Jolteon, Rapidash, Energy Retrieval, Marowak, Jigglypuff, Gastly, Bulbasaur, Gust of Wind, Starmie, and Grass Energy. Dr. Mason, two more Grandmasters to go. Grandmaster Jack uses the legendary Articuno. You will use Articuno's quick freeze to paralyze your opponent. To paralyze your Pokemon. Also be wary of his other Articuno's freeze dry. His deck should be mostly water, so it will be weak against a lightning Pokemon. Go get him, Isaac. We're almost there. Dr. Mason. Receive the mystery booster pack, which has an Articuno itself. Gloom, Flareon, Mr. Fuji, Meow, Drowsy, Energy Removal, Voltorb, Mysterious Fossil, and Fighting Energy. Last one. It's me, Dr. Mason. The final duel is here. I have some information on Rod, the leader of the Grandmasters. Rod uses the legendary Dragonite. The longer the duel takes, the greater the advantage for his deck. His workhorse will be his evolution Pokemon, so defeat them while they are still in their basic stage. Follow the simple strategy of striking early. This is the final test in inheriting the legendary Pokemon cards. Go, Isaac. Be a part of the legend. Dr. Mason, P.S. This is my final gift for you. A laboratory booster pack. Mr. Mine, Magmar, Maintenance, Pokedex, Zubat, Magnemite, Spiro, Onyx, Gambler, No Duo. That is it. We're finally going to be dueling a Grandmaster. Grandmaster Courtney uses the legendary Moltres, so her Pokemon should be made up of fire Pokemon. Be sure to use water Pokemon, since water Pokemon are the weakness of fire. Other than that, just watch how your opponent plays and choose your strategy accordingly. P.S. You're almost there. Keep up the good work. You've already received the booster pack. But yeah, we see that uh, Mason, Dr. Mason certainly has some great cards and information for us. Not only that, but we can actually see we've obtained three more promotional cards. The Legendary Moltres, the Legendary Articuno, and the Legendary Zapdos. Still missing a few here and there, but in due time we will obtain them. Ooh, we also have to bring up, mention the Legendary Dragonite. Other than that, not much more to say, not much more to do. Let's talk to Dr. Mason and show that we've done it. Congratulations, Isaac. I hear you have inherited the legendary Pokemon cards. The strength of a deck does not depend on any single card, but on how skillful, skillfully you are able to use that card. The power of the legendary Pokemon cards depend on you. It depends on you. You must become a skilled card master. Indeed we shall. Talk with this man. This is a challenge machine created by Dr. Mason. Prior to speaking to him, he would have just mentioned anything about Pokemon cards, how you can obtain them and such, or really just basic menu options, though now he gets some new text with us having completed the game. The challenge machine is a Pokemon card dueling machine. The rules of the game are simple. Choose one deck with which you must duel five computer opponents. If you can defeat the five opponents, you win! 
you can also play to extend your winning streak. Build a deck and give it a try, Isaac. It's the challenge machine, the challenge machine created by Dr. Mason. We we'll able to check and we see defeat five opponents and zero time present consecutive wins. Zero. The maximum consecutive win so far has been done by Professor Mason, Dr. Mason. We await your next challenge. We certainly have something to keep in mind with that. The only other place I can think of to go inspect briefly is the challenge hall. Greetings. The challenge cup is held. The challenge cup may start at any time, so please visit the challenge hall often. Anything? Last challenge hall. Oh, damn. All right. Nothing yet. Oh well. Doesn't seem like we'll get the opportunity to experience the challenge hall in my playthrough, but at least we still have the chance to go over and mention it and give more information on it itself. Any trades desired by Mr. Ishihara? Go give him a talk to. Hey. Oh, Ronald's here. Oh, congratulations, Isaac. I heard the news. You finally inherited the legendary Pokemon cards. Uh, don't worry. I'm not going to ask you to trade them to me. Besides, it would be a waste not to use the legendary cards for dueling. Make sure your duels are worthy of the legendary Pokemon cards. Anything else? Hello, oh, Isaac. Welcome. I don't have any cards I want or can trade at the moment. Trade some other time. Ronald, do you have any words? Who? Oh! It's you, Isaac. I couldn't believe that I could lose, but now... Now I understand. The fun thing about the Pokemon Trading Guard game is not who wins or lose, loses. I couldn't inherit the legendary Pokemon cards because all that was important to me was winning. But now I understand. What's important? is to love each each card, to use all the different cards to build different types of decks and to play against different people. So, Isaac, will you play with me again? With all sorts of different decks this time, I'm not gonna lose. I'm not sure why there's a slight text error, but yes, Ronald has a change of heart in a way. He's a bit more kind now, and I believe it's at random points, but you can challenge him or he will offer to challenge you throughout your post game. Entirely up to you, if you choose whether or not to challenge him, I just want to go check out the fire club and see if there's any special text. No. Okay. I was just wondering if there's any special text from the, uh, Masters now that, uh, we beat them, but no, it doesn't seem like it. Well, I mean, not much else to do. Pokemon Club- Pokemon Dome has been cleared up. The challenge hall has been defeated. And, uh, oh, the challenge hall hasn't been handled, but, I mean, maybe in some time. I'll be able to do it off screen or something. For now, really the only challenge left is the challenge cup. Or challenge cup, yes, but challenge machine. Let's try it. Okay, let's choose your opponent. Club. Your opponents for this game is a fighting club member, an electric club member, a water club member, another water club member, and a rod. Okay, this is. Quite the perplexity, but as you can see, this is the kind of challenge that the challenge machine proposes to you. It gives you a list of enemies or a list of club members you have to fight, and keep in mind when building your deck to take care of them and try to get a streak of We can begin the duel with what we have. Not going to change it too much. We're just going to keep our standard battle deck that got us the uh, uh, legendary cards and just go from there with them. Bring out Jatini, Bench Psyduck. Let's go. Same rules apply as before as any other de as any other duel we've done. Where we all have, of course, four cards to draw. We have to play it smart, or we have a set number of cards to draw. We can get four prize cards after knocking out the opponent four times. And we can pretty much serve ourselves pretty well in a lot of situations. It's all about just thinking and strategizing as to what fits best for every style and every battle. Entirely up to you on how you play it, entirely up to you on how you decide to challenge it. I don't believe there are any special or specific rewards you can achieve for completing the challenge machines. Though, of course, it's always good to give it a shot and kind of see what um, mixed deck can work the best for you and how you can kind of excel in a lot of these different fights. Which is definitely something to keep in mind for future uses or for future battles. Other than that, I mean, the challenge machine is definitely just like a side task, side bar to show that you can handle anything and prove yourself as the um, reigning defending champion of the trading card game. 
I know there isn't much more to it. I know options are limited, but hey, this is kind of what the game kind of devolves down to. It's literally just dueling for the fun of it, collecting a bunch of cards, and kind of just continuing to prove ourselves as one of the greatest. <sighs> moving on, or moving along from that, I mean... The only other thing that's really worth noting, or the only other thing that I can think of to note, is keeping in mind of the Challenge Cup and the various promotional cards that we can potentially obtain throughout our journey. Um, really it's just a matter of keeping track of what you got and sort of going with the flow with um, who you can fight or what can possibly happen. And if you're really into just collecting the cards and want to keep trying, I mean, you can certainly try restarting your game over and over again to see if you can get the Challenge Cup to boot up, um, or the Challenge Cup to open one upon opening the game right off the bat. So, again, entirely up to chance, entirely up to trying, but I say give it an honest shot and see how well it turns out for you. Other than that, um, I don't have much more information to really share or much more information to say. Damn, I really wish I could pick up two, but oh well. Um, for me, for now, I think this will be my last video for a while. Not too long. Trust me, I'm not going to take like a 30 year break. I'm just going to kind of whittle time down and relax for the next week or so. I do have plans for my next project already, and it's definitely something that will take me some time to work on. Why did I put that on you? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm not really too focused on the game anyways. Um, but I do have my next project in mind, and I'm very excited to be working on it. <sighs> I will debut it, of course, on New Year's Day. So, from me to you, for whoever's watching, I hope you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas coming up. Or, if you're not uh, celebrating Christmas, um, Hanukkah, um, Kwanzaa, whatever other holidays you may be celebrating. Or, if you're not celebrating at all, I hope you have a happy holidays, you know. Spend some time with family. Enjoy your guys' uh, surrounding scenery, things like that. And just kind of have fun with yourselves. <sighs> other than that, um... Yeah, I know this is a little bit on the shorter end, but I mean, hey, not much else that I can really do or prove to garner interest for this game or really what's going on anymore. I'm just kind of here playing it and showcasing it all to you guys. <sighs> I had a lot of fun playing this game. My next project, I, we have not played any of it in a few months though that game has been sitting out for quite some time, as I have played it before, but now we are going to be doing things in a bit of a flip order. From that, you can probably tell exactly what game I'm talking about, but until then, it shall remain a secret. So, yeah, I got a lot of work to do, I got a lot of grinding to get kind of ahead of schedule, as I would hope, and kind of just have to prepare personally for... A lot of coming events, nothing too major, nothing too crazy, just gotta get my grind on, gotta make my money, of course, and uh, gotta get content up for you guys, so yeah, hopefully uh, hopefully, the new year will be quite exciting, filled with a lot of laughs and a lot of adventures, but uh, I'm very thankful for you guys that have stuck around and enjoyed everything that I've posted so far, whether you're um, watching my channel or following my... Twitter or Instagram, whatever it may be, but yeah. As our <laughs> first match of the machine comes down to a fatal close. <sighs> Honestly, I had a lot of fun. I enjoyed every second of this. Damn, I'm terrible at this game. <laughs> um, and I had a blast. I really did. This year has been quite a bit of a headache. Um, and a bit of a pain, but... Hey, we're moving on, pressing forward as we should, and uh, life continues. That'll be it from me for now, though. I hope you all did enjoy my content. I hope you all continue to enjoy my content. Um, and if you're out all new, please consider subscribing. Hey, I'll appreciate it. If not, that's cool. Share around with anybody you think might like it. Um, Check out all the other games that I've played. I've played a bunch already, but yeah. <laughs> With that, uh, you lost to one opponent. Yeah, I know. Go eat your next challenge. That is it. 
That is all that there is available to the Pokemon Trading Card Games. If you're out all new, please consider hitting that like button. Comment down below what you all enjoyed. Almost certainly would love to see me play. Of course, in due time, I hope to get to it. Um, if you're out all new, like my stuff, hit that subscribe button. You know, consider hitting the bell for daily notifications as I try to post daily. And uh, I guess share around with anybody that you think might enjoy my stuff. Or, you know, share with your friends, share with your family, whoever. But yeah, that's it for now. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you all continue to enjoy, of course. And I wish you all a happy holidays and a wonderful new year. That's it for now. I'll meet you guys back here next year in about a week or so. Where we check in on a certain uh, pointy-eared friend of ours to see just what he's doing in, uh, in unknown lands. <laughs> Peace out, everybody.